SRM contracting. We're here building a retaining wall for this customer. As you can see, the, the yard slopes down pretty hard. We're going to be building a four foot wall. It's going to start from here, go all the way down to there, and then come up about 30 feet. And then we're also going to be putting in a new paver patio. We got our trench dug out. We're down a depth of 18 inches. We're gonna be putting in a eight inch base of three quarter clean stone. Uh, but first we're gonna compact the sub base. We're gonna run the compactor over this dirt here. Make sure the ground is nice and solid. We're gonna clean up this trench a little bit before we do that. And then we'll add our three quarter stone. We'll put it in, uh, three lifts. Um, we'll put two inches down, compact it, then we'll add four inches, compact it, and then the final two inches. Um, I could probably get away with just compacting it in uh, two lifts, four inches and four inches, but I like to make sure we got a nice sturdy base in it. It doesn't take that much time to do it that way. Getting our machines warmed up. It's pretty cold today. There's our compactor that we'll use for compacting the uh, the sub base and the three quarter stone. And our Allen block delivery just got here. It's 500 square feet of block. And here's our stone. Once we get this block squared away, we'll probably store most of it in the driveway for now. Once that's done, we'll start getting the stone back there and start getting things compacted. More to come. We have our stone base in. We put down a 10 inch base of three quarter clean stone. Got our string set up and we're starting to get our first uh, course of block in. This course takes the longest because this is where all the leveling takes place. After this course of block it is in, the rest of them should go smooth. That's what he's doing right now. Dropping them in, giving them a couple, a couple taps. Check the level front to back, side to side. Make sure it lines up with the block next to it.
See, we try to fill it up nice and slow so we don't knock any blocks over. And we'll have to get in there with a shovel and, and make it right. Our geo grid is in. This is the first layer. We're getting ready to put another course of block on. And we'll start adding more three quarter clean stone. And then add our drainage. Got a drainage pipe in. We have one discharge right here. It's going to come out right through the face of the block. And then the other discharge is going to end up right here on this block. And we're going to fill that gap up. Uh, with some soil and then some rock so all the water will always make it to that drain whatever doesn't come all the way down it'll exit out through the front of that wall these drains are supposed to be daylighted every 50 feet these are more like every 40 feet and as you can see we have plenty of three-quarter stone for drainage Get ready to cover this up now. The final part of our drainage system is in. This pipe right here is called the heel drain. This is in addition to the, the pipe we previously installed in front of, right, right behind the block. Uh, that's called the toe drain. And basically what this does is it'll catch the water, that, the groundwater that's coming towards the wall before it even enters the drainage stone. Uh, and it comes around here and there's a discharge through the face of the wall on that side.
We just compacted our three-quarter stone. This is our second layer of GeoGrid. You can see here, this is our fifth course of block we're building up. We're going to go ahead and put two courses on, and then we'll fill the block cavities and start backfilling this wall. It's coming along nice. Just finished bringing in the last load for today. We brought in about 45 yards of fill dirt. Bringing in about another 25 tomorrow. We just ran the compactor across this three quarter clean. And I think this is the first time I'm showing this drain. This is actually going to be a, a yard drain. We're gonna put in a, a little catch basin and the whole yard is, it'll have a real gradual pitch this way, and then from that way, this way. So we're basically gonna direct the water to this catch basin, and it'll it'll exit the wall here. We gotta button this thing up a little bit still. But yeah, it'll exit the wall here, and there's gonna be some river stone all in this area. And this ground is all graded towards that uh, storm drain. So all the water is going to go where we want it to go. We have about, I think about 25 more yards of fill to come in tomorrow. And then, uh, then we'll add more three-quarter stone, fill it up to this row. And then we put one more layer of GeoGrid down. And then our final course of block will go on top of that. All this will compact and uh, put a few inches of topsoil once we get this nice and flat. All right, more to come. All right, this is our last layer of GeoGrid. All of our stones in. Wall's basically done. We got to put a couple more caps on down there. We got our uh, trench compactor here. We're gonna use this to compact the soil. I started doing that so far, a little bit. Hasn't completely dried out yet. Uh, hopefully we get some good weather for the next couple days and we'll be able to uh, get it compacted real nice. We'll be putting uh, some fabric down, some filter fabric on this and then uh, bringing in our topsoil. We'll end up coming I don't know, about halfway up the block. It'll be a little higher down there because we're going to have it grade this way towards this uh, catch basin here. Alright, we got our filter fabric down. This fabric is to prevent the soil from washing into the rocks and eventually clogging the rocks. Here's a view from down here. Everything's filled in. We got our grass seed, fertilizer, and straw blankets down.
everything came out pretty good you can see the way we graded it is down towards the wall and down to that corner there's a catch basin in the ground right over there um, and it discharges through the wall and, and then this side we had no choice but to kind of slope it this way um, there's plenty of drainage behind the wall there's a toe drain and a heel drain and there's probably close to 24 inches of three-quarter stone behind this wall so drainage is not going to be a problem but it's on to the next one thanks for watching please don't forget to like my video and subscribe to the channel